With MODLAB and MindTap, it's easy to add economic experiments and surveys to run in your classroom. Let's take a quick look. From your instructor learning path, click Add or Create, Activity, and scroll to ModLab in-class activity. You'll launch the ModLab activity library where you can browse all available games and survey templates. Use the categories on the right to quickly find games by subject. Or use the search box to instantly find games by name. You can quickly experience the student's perspective by hovering over an activity and clicking Demo. In a demo game, you play against some robotic players with our default game configuration. This allows you to generate some sample results and test the game mechanics. Once you add the game to your learning path, you can modify game configuration and students will play against each other. You can also click Guide to view the instructor guide and learn more about gameplay, learning objectives, different configurations, and typical results. When you're ready to add an activity, click to select it, then click Continue at the bottom right. You'll return to MindTap to finish adding the activity to your learning path. Back on MindTap, You'll find the title and description of the activity pre-filled, and you may edit them at any time. The availability and due date options control when the activity is available in the student's learning path, but don't otherwise affect the instructor's ability to launch or configure it on ModLab. Finally, choose where to insert the ModLab activity. In this case, we've created a ModLab activities folder near the top of the learning path so that students can quickly and easily locate the activity when they're ready to play. After you've added the activity, you can configure or run it by clicking to launch the ModLab console. Here, you will find the activity selected inside a playlist on the left. The playlist will always take the name of the activity you have on your MindTap learning path. You can configure the activity according to the parameters shown in each section of the Configured tab. Please refer to the Instructor Guide for more info on how to best configure the game. You can play the activity with its current settings from the student's perspective by clicking Preview. Activity settings will persist if you leave the activity or close the console and return to MindTab. We suggest configuring activities ahead of class time. To run an activity with students, launch it from your learning path. Click Instructions to review the rules of play. Clicking Run Game will allow students to join the activity from their learning path. As students join, their status will be displayed in your instructor console. No need to wait for full participation. Students may continue to enter after the session begins. As students enter the activity, they are automatically placed into groups with assigned roles and values specified in the game parameters. With the activity underway, your instructor console will switch to a monitor tab, so you may monitor student progress. If a group is not full, there is an option to add robotic players to fill the group. When the status column indicates that the groups have completed the activity, click Finish. Then, you can open the results summary to show it to your students. Download the data as a CSV file. Or replay the game with different matching options. We hope you and your students enjoy using ModLab, a playground for decisions.